Welcome to this Code Rage 2019 session on using the free Gridgy Deployman tool to bulk load file and resources into the Deployment Manager in Delphi for mobile applications. The Deployman helps you add files and resources in bulk for Delphi supported mobile platforms into the Deployment Manager. You can specify individual folders and include subfolders and subdirectories as, as well as indicate specific configurations within Delphi that you want to include. You may have had to deal with the same problem that we've had to deal with a few times on mobile platforms and that you have to sometimes add a lot of files to the deployment manager inside of Delphi. And when we were dealing with the Facebook SDK, we decided to write a utility to help us with this. And we know that quite a few people in the community use this free tool now to manage the deployment manager file listing inside of Delphi. So say, for example, you have a sample project. In this case, I created a project called Example. And there's a whole lot of resources. These are actually taken from the Facebook SDK. Everything here has to be deployed to the target machine during your development process while you're testing in order for the actual SDKs to operate. So what we've done is created a tool that lets you open the dproj that you have for an existing project and modify the entries in there to uh, make sure that every one of these paths is automatically assigned. The way this works is you open the deployman tool you first import the dproj file from your existing project. In this case, I'm going to open my example project's dproj file. It has no current items listed, so you don't see anything here. But under Android tab, I'm going to add a folder for all of these resources. So this is similar to other development IDEs where you can specify a specific source path and a specific target folder. You can say, for under this resource path, I want to include all subdirectories, and I want to do that for which specific configurations uh, in Delphi. And I'm going to say both release and debug in this case. When I save this, uh, before I save it, I want to make sure that I close down uh, my existing Delphi project. I'm going to save it and exit because I don't want to modify the dproj while Delphi is running. When you hit save on this, it does two things. One is it, in your project folder, it creates a gr deploy file which basically just describes the configuration for the files that you're manipulating. Um, it also modifies the dproj and makes a backup of that uh, so that you, uh, um, in case there was anything that went wrong. When you reopen your Delphi project, in this case I'm going to open the DPR here again, if you go into the deployment manager, you should see now under the Android platform uh, every single one of those files and the, the corresponding target folder on the machine in question. In this case, that's quite a few files um, because some of the SDKs on the market have a lot of resources to deploy. If you need to update the files in the deployment manager, for example, if you have to add or take away resources um, that you don't want to individually modify it again, you can reopen your uh, deployman project by simply locating the GR deploy file, opening it up, and when you do that, you'll notice that it reloaded what your configuration was. When you hit save a second time, this will update both the dproj and keep track of GR deploy. So it'll remove entries if they have been uh, taken away from the uh, information you provided here and it'll add entries um, if there's new entries to include in your deployment manager. Thank you for listening to this Code Rage 2019 session on the Gridgy Deploy Man tool. You can access the copy of the, the binaries for this by visiting either our blog at 
uh, blog.gridgy.com or our GitHub Gridgy repo. Uh, we have uh, specific links here on how to access the deployment and download it. Thank you.